evening everyone. I'm Anika Michelle and welcome to College News. Today's segment is going to look at how college internships are preparing students for their desired career paths. More and more students are looking to gain internship experience as they're about to enter an extremely competitive job market. To demonstrate what this experience is like, we're going to take a look inside my own college internship at the Binghamton University Communications Department. I intern as a media and public relations assistant at the communications department located in the Cooper Administration Building. The objective of my job is to enhance the presence of the university through social media. I work on the university's Facebook pages, I submit Binghamton posts for the SUNY blog website, I write press releases, and I also write pieces for Inside, Harper Perspective, and several department newsletters. I work four days a week from the Office of Media and Public Relations. Good morning. Hi, Nika. How are you? Good. How are you? Good. How's your day so far? Um, it's been okay. Mm -hmm. It's I have um, to cover the research days presentation okay. in the union, so that should be fun. And then, you know, I did an interview on Wednesday mm -hmm. profiling a student Good. who's graduating. Oh, great. So that was great fun. Great story. I usually begin my workday by checking my emails for updates about articles or Facebook posts. Then I go talk to my boss, Ryan, to see what new assignments he has for me. Hey, Nika, how you doing? Good, how are you? Good. How's everything? Uh, not too bad. It's Friday. Busy, yes, <laughs> it's been a busy week. Uh, I need your help with a few things today. Uh, one, if we could come up with another post for that SUNY blog that you're working on. Okay. Um, the one you did got great interaction, and uh, we shared it on our page yesterday um, through Facebook. So I think that was um, a great project, something we should continue. So we have to come up with more content for that. Okay. And then the other things we could use help with uh, would be scheduling content for Facebook and Twitter throughout the weekend. After getting my assignments from Ryan, I usually head over to Eric, my other boss's office to discuss stories that I'm working on. Good morning. Hello. How are you? Good, how are you? I'm good, I'm good. I'm just, you know, excited. I'm, I'm going to cover the research days, student presentations in the union, so that should be interesting. According to the calendar, it goes till noon. Okay. okay. I'll be sure to get on it. <laughs> Um, What's the latest with Sydney Demon? Sydney actually <coughs> sent me an email saying that he wanted to like do some edits and changes to the article before it goes to publication. So I told him that he can, you know, send me whatever suggestions and edits that he thinks would work. So he responded to me this morning actually, and like with a draft with edits and stuff. So I'm gonna look it over, um, see what works, what doesn't work. Let him know, send it back to him, and I'll send it to you. Writing for the staff publications require doing interviews. I've interviewed professors, students, and various faculty members. <laughs> but, Good. I, mean, I don't feel so bad. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> don't even worry about it. Um, okay, so yeah, you're an alum, and now you're a professor. Um, what was it initially that made you decide to teach physics? Oh, that's a good question. Um, actually, when I first came to Binghamton, I was going to be an electrical engineer, and I decided that for whatever reason, that's what I wanted to do. And, and you said you had jobs on campus, you that you worked at the telephone company. Um, what, what made you initially decide to come to Binghamton? My parents really loved this school, so they thought it would be a good fit. Um, so you're a professor in African American history and African Christ for right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, how did you become interested in that subject and why did you choose to become a professor? Well, I would say that you know, I developed an interest during college but also after college. So during college I was an English and French major, but I actually was learning about English and black writers in English, black writers in French, so in other words, Jamaican writers, West Indian. 
Perhaps the greatest reward is turning those interviews into articles and seeing them get published. So there you have it, a look at an internship in the field of communications. But what about internships in other areas, such as finance, law, or even medicine? When we come back, we're going to ask some students who've interned in those fields how their experience has prepared them for their future career.